How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today in this video i'll be showing you some amazing hidden one ui features that every samsung owner needs to know about guys trust me you'll learn something new and useful from this video so make sure to watch it until the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started All right guys first things first if you look at my lock screen something you all going to notice is that i have this brand new and unique looking clock which i think looks really really good on my lock screen and not only that if i just tap on it go to style here if i swipe all the way to the right side i get many more new clock faces that you probably don't have these are all brand new designs they have recently added to one ui 7 and it does definitely help you to further customize and make your lock screen stand out now in order to unlock and get these new clock faces on your samsung phone you need to have the good lock app installed on your device and the module that you need to install is called clock face i'll also make sure to drop a direct link in the description below once installed simply open the module and here you'll see all the new styles to customize your lock screen all you have to do is just tap on any clock that you like and now all these new styles will get integrated into the lock screen customization So you don't have to open the good lock and then access the clock face module every time you want to use the new clock faces you can directly access them from the lock screen itself so this is how you can get some brand new designs for your clock and take your customization to the next level Although the Samsung's One UI offer a lot of customization, we still do not have the option to apply depth effect to the wallpaper like many other Android skins As you can see, I have this beautiful depth effect wallpaper on my OnePlus 13 which looks absolutely stunning. Now, despite the fact that we do not have any such feature on Samsung, there is one hidden trick which you can apply to get this similar depth effect on your wallpapers. First thing you need to do is select a wallpaper that you want to use as your lock screen wallpaper. Here you simply need to press and hold on the subject to separate it from the background and then you need to save this subject as an image to your gallery. As you can see there is no background in this image. Now what you need to do is you need to crop this picture a bit and remove the lower portion. So simply click on edit and crop the image just a little bit. That's it. Then you can save it to your gallery. Now we have got two pictures. One is the unedited portrait picture which you need to set it as your lock screen wallpaper. Then we also have this clipped image without any background. Now what you're going to do is you need to make sure you have already installed the Lockstar module inside the Good Lock application. Guys, I'll also leave a direct link in the description below. Once installed, go to lock screen customization. Right now you can see we do not have any depth effect, but if you just tap on Lockstar, this will allow you to add widgets to your lock screen and the widget which we need is the gallery widget. So simply select that and just add this widget right here on the lock screen. You can then drag it and increase the size. So this is where we're going to bring that image which we have clipped by removing the background. Now tap below to go inside widget setting and here select the clipped image from your gallery. Once done, you need to adjust the subject and try to align it perfectly with the lock screen wallpaper. It will take a few seconds, but once you are done with the alignment, You will now see this beautiful depth effect on your lock screen which looks absolutely stunning. Now whenever you unlock your phone and go to lock screen, you will have this beautiful depth effect which we just created. Like this, you can easily create some nice depth effect wallpaper and take your customization to a whole new level. With the release of One UI 7, Samsung has introduced something called Now Bar which you can access directly from the lock screen and even on your status bar. but many of you still don't know how to use it effectively on your always on display inside your phone settings when you go to display scroll all the way down to the bottom you will find always on display and here you just need to enable the now bar feature once that is done now when you are playing music on your phone or doing any other live activities you will see the now bar in the always on display but when you tap on it it just doesn't work you will only be able to access the now bar from the lock screen What's the use of having this now bar feature inside the always on display when you don't have any control over it but we are doing it the wrong way instead of single tap you need to double click on the now bar to change the track play or pause music or control any live activity directly from the always on display so this is how you can effectively use the now bar inside the AOD on your Samsung phone Next, let me show you a hidden menu that is available inside the My Files application. So when I go to the My Files app, tap on the three dot button, 
and click on settings. Here you need to scroll all the way down and select about my files. Now just keep tapping multiple times where it says my files and you will see a pop up menu that says my files lab has been enabled. Once it is done, just close and reopen the application. Now go to settings and here you will able to see the my files lab at the bottom. When you go inside this menu, you will see some brand new features that can be useful within the my files application. The one which I always prefer enabling is this permanently delete option. What it basically does is if you are deleting any files within the my files app, you will now see this permanently delete option and you can select this to permanently delete any file instead of moving it to the recycle bin. Then you can click on data history to see which applications are occupying the maximum space on your phone. There is something called files operation history which will help you to know what files you have copied or deleted recently. Then there is another interesting feature called reorganized folder. This will clean up folders that have over 100 items which will surely reduce the time it takes to find files. So these are some of the hidden labs features that you can enable within the my files application and get access to many useful tools. Did you know with One UI 7, Samsung has further improved the multitasking experience on your phone. Now let's say if I open multiple apps in a pop-up window, for example, I'll open apps like Play Store. Then let me minimize that application in a floating bubble like this. Then let's open Galaxy Store and minimize this app as well. Finally, I'll open YouTube Music and what I'm gonna do is I'll minimize it into a floating bubble. Now if I just click on YouTube Music, it opens all three applications in a separate folder from where you can quickly open these applications simultaneously. So I can quickly open one application after the other or if I just tap on this button, it opens all three instantly. Guys, this is how you can easily manage multiple apps in a floating window. You can open as many applications you want and put them in a floating folder like this. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some useful hidden One UI 7 features that every Samsung user should know about. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.